Good day, everybody. It's not morning anymore, right? Um, today is Saturday, November the 27th, 2021. And this is Michelle with Michelle Lokerson Vlog. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little late today. I'm just kind of, I don't know, overall, I'm just tired. Um, but before I get into the devotional, um, like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I... Um, post a video, and uh, leave a comment if you could. Over on my other channel, um, Sweet Home Heaven, uh, if you could go over there, like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell as well, and leave a comment. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I hope everybody's having a um, great weekend from their Thanksgiving holiday. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let me get started here. This is Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Let thankfulness rule in your heart. As you thank me for blessings in your life, a marvelous thing happens. It is as if scales fall off your eyes, enabling you to see more and more of my glorious riches. With your eyes thus open, you can help yourself to whatever you need from my treasure house. Each time you receive one of my golden gifts, let your thankfulness sing out praises to my name. Hallelujahs are the language of heaven, and they can become the language of your heart. A life of praise and thankfulness becomes a life filled with miracles. Instead of trying to be in control, you focus on me and what I am doing. This is the power of praise, centering your entire be being in me. This is how I created you to live, for I made, for I made you in my own image. Enjoy abundant life by overflowing with praise and thankfulness. <clears throat> All right, first scripture reading is Colossians 3.15. <clears throat> and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. And... Psalms 100, verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. All right, and Acts 9, chapter 9, verse 18. Immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales, and, re he re and he received his sight at once, and he arose and was baptized. All right, in Revelations chapter 19, verses 3 through 6. Okay. Again, they said, Alleluia, her smoke rises up forever and ever. And the 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God who sat on the throne saying, Amen, Alleluia. Then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all you his servants and those who fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it were, as it were the voice of a great multitude as the sound of many waters and as the sound of mighty thunderings, saying, Alleluia. For the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let's look up that one word right there. Om, uh, omn, omni, omnipotent. That's a tongue twister. That's, hold on just a sec, guys. I'll tell y'all what that word means. For the Lord God Almighty, infinite in power, having a great or unlimited authority or power. All right. So, yep. And that's, that sums up who um, the God we serve is almighty, all powerful. All righty.
Okay, so this is the uh, prayer for today. And like I said, you're welcome to turn off the video and go do your own prayer, or you're welcome to uh, follow along um, and put your name at the end, whatever you would like to do. I do encourage you to spend time alone with the Lord and in prayer and in, um, and meditate upon his word. All right. Thank, Father, thank you for your love for us, a love so great that you sacrificed your son, Jesus Christ, to be crucified for the redemption of our sins. May we, may we strive to live a life reflective of your love for us. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for this ultimate sacrifice and for your, your resurrection from death. You defeated death and paid the price for our sins so we could be forgiven and spend eternity with you, Lord. Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, our light in a world of darkness, our anchor in the storms of life, our joy and peace through this life. Thank you. Father, your mercy and strength is sufficient to overcome the wiles of the enemy. Thank you. Your faithfulness is unwavering. Your word is our instruction book for this life on earth. Thank you. May we meditate on your holy word and grow in you so our lives are, are a witness of your glory, love, forgiveness, and devotion to a fallen world. Thank you. Guide our heart to seek you. In all we do, may we seek your will in every aspect of our lives, and may our journey be pleasing in your eyes. Thank you. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that gently guides our words and comforts us in our darkest hours. <clears throat> thank you for your music. Thank you for music that ministers to our soul and is the universal language of love. Thank you for the beauty of your creation that we are given to behold. You are the creator of all life. Thank you. Father, we have become a world where sin has overtaken and your children have become the minority. Strengthen us as we boldly stand for you and your instructions. Thank you. May your light shine from within us for your glory. You are worthy of our praises. Set before us the path you want us to travel and teach us your way along the way. May we never forget may we never get too far off the co off course before you gently redirect us. Thank you. Forgive us, Lord, of our sins and forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. We love you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your child Michelle. Put your name at the end. All right, guys, I'm headed over to Sweet Home Heaven to read. Uh, this is the second chapter in 1 Corinthians. <clears throat> um, it's relatively short, so, uh, it, you know. Anyway, see you over there, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell on your way out to be notified whenever I uh, post a video, and leave a comment. If at all possible, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, bye-bye.